And uh, Allah has revealed to Jesus, Isa, I have um, I have sent um, two people. The ja uh, people. Jaju and Mary, two people. Uh, two, pe uh, two people. Nobody has got the hands to fight against them. Yes. And um, you already prepare or excite people, which means that prepare them and tell them to take shelter by the tour. Yes. وَيَبْعَثُ اللَّهُ يَأْجُوجَ وَمَأْجُوجَ And Allah will send Yagog and Magog وَهُمْ مِنْ كُلِّ حَدَبٍ يَنْسِلُونَ Okay, the point, I know this is very well. The point which I make and stress is this, that by the time Jesus comes, whether according to the old school he descends from heaven or according to Ahmadis he is born as a person of the Ummah of Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam and he is entitled to Jesus and entitled Mahdi and both are the same. This is our viewpoint. But anyway, whoever he is, as long as he is called Jesus, unless he appears, there can be no question of we are Jews, Majuj, having been appeared before and Muslim people should have dealt with them successfully. Even Jesus or Mahdi, they are told that you, even you do not have power to materially confront them and defeat them. So how can Saddam Hussein? That has been the question I've been raising. How stupid of such excited people, you know, they raise their banners and hold, you know, make faces, things, and, you know, just go mad out of excitement. It now has come Saddam Hussein to defeat them and destroy them. And it is so stupid. The Holy Quran says a tells a different story, Hadith tells a different story, and their story is either here or there. <laughs> so they should carefully study the message of Muhammad and understand from that that until Jesus appears, no one on earth has power or granted power, is, is granted power to defend against Yajuj, Majuj, or the Jal, whatever name you give him. And secondly, even Jesus will not be granted that power to physically. Both questions are answered. Now what is the meaning of Tur? Tur is the place of Tajalli, where Allah revealed Himself. And much greater tour than that tour came in the form of Ahadur Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. The Holy Quran says, Law anzalna azulil mishtan rajim. Law anzalna hazal Quran ala jabalil. La raatahu khashiyam mutasaddiyam min khashiyatillah. Wa tilka lam thalo nadri wahal indase. La allahum jitafakkaru. Why don't they? become of those people who yatafakkaru on tour that tajalli of Allah was revealed and it was shattered into pieces and Moses swooned and fell unconscious but the Holy Quran says this is the Quran which is revealed to you, O Prophet Muhammad. 
this Quran could not shatter you. It's still intact. And uh, you carry the weight of this really while Moses could not. The Tur indicates that. The whole story of what happened there is uh, recollected. And that shows that seek shelter in the Quranic teaching. By Tur, I'm very sure it does not apply to any mountain anywhere in the world. Because no mountain can give shelter against the Jal and its bombardment and nuclear holocaust and this and that. It's just too naive to think that there will be a mountain which will provide shelter to Muslims at such time and Jews at such time and he'll escape their wrath if they have their wrath on him. So Tur can only mean in this context Tajalli of God which appeared on Prophet Muhammad Wasallam as the Holy Quran. So it said Jahid Bahim Jahadan Kabira you have uh, launched, you should launch a war against them with the Holy Quran. You should seek shelter in the teachings of the Holy Quran. If you do that, then God will see to it that you are successful. It may take time, indeed, because the Quran, when it was revealed previously, it did not give fatah to the Muslims, provide fatah to the Muslims immediately as it was revealed. For the first 1300, 13 years, Anazul Sallallahu Alaihi remained a target of persecution. So people should not be too hasty to draw conclusions from these traditions. They only give you the right path. They only tell you what to do. And in this case, this hadith means that the Messiah and his followers, they should seek shelter in the Quranic teaching, where the Quran prevents them from taking the physical means to fight the enemy. They should remain aloof. And where the Quran tells them to say prayer, then the prayer is the answer. So this is the, the real application of this hadith in totality, which I believe is true. And who doesn't agree with me, let him fight out. Let him take the sword in his hand and, <coughs> and destroy America. <laughs> Please. I have drawn this inference that Tajalli uh, in this case was the Quran. And uh, Tur was the heart of Hazrat Muhammad Sallallahu Now I am not doing it from my, my own self. I am drawing this conclusion based exactly on the Holy Quran, which says, Azulullah Mishatanaji, Inna aradna lamanata allamana. Who is Al Insan? Except as the Muhammad. So that Tajalli which previous prophets, the spiritual people are Asawa. And great prophets among them, like they are referred to as Jabal, Jibal, they were afraid. And the worldly people, of course, are represents the worldly people. They could not carry Al Amana. But Muhammad Sulaslam did. So he's greater than that Thur, which is mentioned. He's the greatest human Jabal that was ever created by Allah. And he accepted it and delivered the goods, 
because it is called al amana if ahmad sallallahu alaihi wasallam can be conceived as having not delivered the amana which he was bestowed upon by allah it's kufr it is uh, a total denial of ahmad sallallahu alaihi wasallam so this verse sub- fully supports my interf- in inference from the other verse and inference from the hadith the sum total of the message would be that we have given bestowed amana to muhammad rasulullah sallam who was the greatest man on earth and he was a person who did it knowing the difficulties and he was not a person who could do khayana in the amana so seek shelter in him and in the amana that is the message which will be delivered to jesus when he descend come under his protection come under the protection of the quran and you have no fear and pray specific instruction would be to pray now people think that prayer is just an additional something it does not it does not uh, bring about huge changes in the world it is there they are wrong absolutely when allah has specifically mentioned that even jesus cannot fight successfully fight and frustrate the invasion of the jal or yajuj wajuj then what can be done about it only allah can do it and if only allah can do it then you must pray <laughs> without prayer it cannot be brought about so whenever these things happen for instance the iraq was threatened or other muslim countries are facing problems i specifically make it binding on me to pray earnestly during the night hours and i understand because this is the message delivered to mahdi according to ahmad sallallahu alaihi wasallam so this is what the followers of the imam mahdi should always do when you pray things begin to happen and in this case when people were dancing in the streets we amadis were praying and allah has saved iraq from further uh, cruelty being perpetrated against him against it but still it's, it's time for prayer we must pray pray on because the danger is still hovering over the iraqi people they are very cruel people with whom we are dealing immensely cruel and uh, unscrupulous one man er saddam challenges their authority and they make the whole country suffer even poor innocent children what justice is in that absolutely no justice if they want to destroy saddam go ahead let them do if they if they can but if they can't they have no right to make the people poor innocent people of iraq suffer for whatever they call the folly of saddam said this is not true this is not honest if the, some european country and russia and china disagree with clinton's policies and they do if they had power did they have right to make all americans suffer for that this is what the big people proud people should try to understand so i hope things will improve and things will become better but if they really suffer for the people of iraq they should pray that is my message